ClassicGameRoom.com Welcome to Classic Game Room. What do you do when your centipede arcade machine is out of order like mine right now? You throw a little pity party and then you play some Millipede on the Game Boy Advance, which also comes with Super Breakout and Lunar Lander. Collections of mini games are a dime a dozen and usually underwhelming, but this is a collection of three great games that just happen to be on the small screen. All from Atari, we get Millipede, Super Breakout, and Lunar Lander. Three arcade classics on one Game Boy Advance cartridge. How did they fit them all on there? Magic. And maybe a giant funnel. Yes, the box art isn't terribly exciting, and it does not play on Game Boy Color, according to the packaging. And these days, most of these games are available for your mobile phone, tablet, or telepathic download, depending on what year you're listening to this. But if you're looking to take that trip or just dig your Game Boy Advance on the go, Millipede, Super Breakout, and Lunar Lander are always nice to have with you. One thing I really like about this collection is that it's cheaper and easier to repair than a Centipede arcade machine when it breaks. And by repair, I mean just buy another game cartridge. Arcade machines are heavy, inconvenient, and a complete pain in the ass, but they're the way these games were meant to be played, so can the Game Boy Advance possibly do them justice? Well, you know it's not bad. Even without a trackball, which is really how you're supposed to play Millipede, the game plays pretty well because Millipede is just a kick-ass game. Millipede is basically the sequel to Centipede, one of my favorite games, and there's a lot more going on. I'm not as good at it, I haven't spent as much time playing it, but it's not bad on the Game Boy Advance SP. However, it's really sluggish when trying to play it on a big screen using the Game Boy Player for the GameCube. This entire collection is actually better on the small screen, they just feel more responsive. It's annoying that there's no trackball, but, you know, what are you gonna do? I would say pony up for that real Millipede arcade machine, except they're impractical and expensive. Although, hopefully someday, I'll get one in the intergalactic space arcade right next to Centipede. Super Breakout is, uh, frankly, just wasted in this collection. Like, you can get by in Millipede without a trackball if you really have to for casual gameplay, but Super Breakout with a D-pad just sucks. It's all or nothing controls, not the way the game was meant to be played, and you need analog paddle controllers for Super Breakout. And I really like Super Breakout, but uh, the best way to play that game on, on the cheap is just to buy an Atari 2600 paddle controllers and Super Breakout. Seriously, it, it's a great game. The real surprise hit here is Lunar Lander. A game I've, I've always enjoyed, but I gotta be in the mood for it. And the Game Boy Advance is just a terrific platform for Lunar Lander. Because it's really slow, so it's a good way to just pass some time. And it plays perfectly well with the Game Boy Advance D-pad and buttons. Which makes it an ideal game to take with you on the bus, the train, or the spaceship to the alien prison colony. If, if you're listening to this in the future. You see, un unlike your current mobile device or tablet or whatever, your Game Boy Advance is not going to break or become obsolete anytime soon because it's already obsolete, but it works really well. Now I guess I assume you're probably familiar with most of these games if you're watching Classic Game Room. In Millipede you just shoot things for points. In Breakout you want to just avoid this version. And Lunar Lander you're trying to land on the uh, moon or whatever horrible planet you're trying to land on without exploding. It's a game that requires a lot of patience and finesse. Look at this! I've landed, and nothing was destroyed yet. So I've got to give another big classic game room thank you and shout out 
to Laurie from Finland for sending Millipede and Lunar Lander to the show. I'm going to find a way to mail back Super Breakout. In conclusion, it's a good budget-priced collection of some classic arcade hits for your Game Boy Advance. Now I need some scissors and duct tape to try to get that breakout out of here.